Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to confess real quick to something. Welcome to a new vlog too, by the way. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so I, I gotta make a few confessions. Confession number one, I have gone to Baja Fresh for the past three days in a row. Okay, so what does that mean? That means I've spent about $25 for two burritos, actually four, four days in a row. So $100 worth of burritos, right? Um, so one, financially not intelligent, not smart. And two, um, I feel like I could do better. I love Baja Fresh. I don't get paid by them, obviously. But uh, look at her. The daily, you gotta you got update the dog. She has not gone on a walk yet. It's currently like 9, 10, 13 in the morning. She has not gone on her long walk yet, so she's desperately trying to get me to take her. But I gotta cook. So anyways, I'm going to make my own burritos which I hope is a good idea. And what I'm gonna do is freeze them. I have some aluminum foil on here and I'm gonna pre-weigh every single one. So my goal is to get each burrito to have about 40 to 50 grams of protein. Um, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna make 16 burritos. <laughs> Six, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make 16 burritos. I have 16 tortilla wraps. So what I got is I got these tortilla wraps. Now, every time I get tortilla burrito shells or whatever, I tend to overeat because I tend to just put everything in between tortilla shells. But that's why I'm pre-making a bunch of them. So I have 16 tortilla shells. I have three bags of basmati rice. And then I got two packets of guacamole. I don't think I'm gonna pre, I don't think I'm gonna put the guacamole in the wraps because I gotta warm them up each time I eat them. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave them in the fridge. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. I might eat the burritos cold. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly, but I do know I'm gonna make 16 burritos, um, which is a lot, and I'm not using, using chicken, I'm using beef. So over there, I have 90-10 beef um, on, the, on the stove top, which actually I'm starting to think, I don't think I will have enough to do 16. But anyways, I'm gonna make as many as I possibly can, um, and then I'm gonna use those as my meals now, instead of doing just the rice and uh, beef. And I'm using less rice in each burrito, probably like 100, 150 grams per burrito. Um, what that's gonna allow me to do is make up those lack of carbs in the burrito shell, which is I think 35, <clears throat> 35 carbs for each one. I was gonna use chicken, but I'm just not a chicken guy. Like, I don't know, you look at a chicken, you look at a cow, I eat cow because of that. Like, chick, like you know, chicken's fine, it's leaner, but I like beef, I just like eating beef. Um, so I'm gonna make a bunch of these. And all this was $72 versus $100 I spent for four days for the, uh, for whatever I ate before, those the Baja Fresh burritos, which are awesome. And the reason why I'm actually doing this today is because I actually put in my fitness pal three more of them. Uh, I was gonna have three today, but I was like, no. It's cut back on cost. I know I can make it a little bit better, so that's what I'm doing now. So we're gonna try to make as many as we possibly can, and uh, I will show you what I end up with afterwards. Um, hopefully it's good. We'll see. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be completely honest with you, people watching. I did not do those burritos. <laughs> that was an utter failure. I just made a mess in the kitchen. They kept on ripping. I kept on getting angry. I was hungry. No one was bothering me. I was on the verge of losing my mind. So I said, nope, no burritos. I just put the tortilla shells back in the fridge or back in the, uh, the closet. But I do just have my rice and beef, guacamole, a little bit of salsa. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that. I, this is why you should not grocery shop when you're hungry because you come up with dumb ideas. And I came up with a dumb idea. Dumb idea. That was stupid. Not smart, not thought out. But uh, that's what happens. But it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Take her on a long walk, come back, watch Ozark. You know the plan. Same plan, different day. Um, I've been watching this Jeff Bezos podcast too with Lex Freeman. Super good. Jeff Bezos is a brilliant guy. He never really gets his credit for being super intelligent. Obviously, he created Amazon. But he never gets his credit for like his science-backed uh, mind. But he's actually a really brilliant man. Um, it's a really good podcast. I don't know if you haven't seen it. But if you don't watch Lex Freeman... I highly recommend watching Lex Freeman. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and eat this, uh, eat this, edit up the last video that you saw and release that, um, and then take the dog on a walk. I did work out today. I actually had a really good workout. I didn't film it. I did a chest. I used a lot of machines, which I think I might start doing more of. 
uh, the machines just felt good. They just felt better. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I do know why, but so I can get more reps, it's easier. It doesn't require that much work. You just sit down and do the movement. But anyways, I digress. I also only got like four hours of sleep last night, so I'm exhausted today. So I'm probably, I'm almost 100% going to end up napping today, which is, I'm really excited for. But I gotta edit up this last video that you saw, eat this and take the dog on a walk. And I'll catch you guys later. So I don't know, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but it's currently 7.54 in the morning. And uh, I woke up this morning absolutely starving. Normally, when I'm really hungry, my appetite will kind of just subdue a little bit. Subdue, subside, subside a little bit. It didn't this morning. The last meal I had was like 2, 3 p.m. yesterday. So I haven't eaten like nine, about 16, 17 hours. So I'm very, very hungry right now. And it's 8 a.m., so it's 7.54 a.m. And I probably won't eat again until 3 or 4 p.m. today. So I'm having a lot of my calories now. And this is the one thing about when you track your calories and when you're trying to, you know, stay at a certain amount of calories, the time of the day in, in relationship with the food that you eat just doesn't really exist for me. Like I'm having beef and rice and guacamole at 7.54 in the morning. I think that is probably insane, but it covers my macros. So I don't really worry about it too, too much. Um, but today I'm going back home to see my family. I've been doing that pretty much every single weekend and you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it to see my family and um, we have like a work party tonight, which I'm, you know, I'm excited for. Um, just, you know, trying to keep myself busy as it would say, but I'm going to, you know, just hang out next weekend. I'm going to, I have like four days off next weekend. So I'm excited for that, but I just want to hop on here and just like, it's weird. I mean, most people don't do this. Most people eat like cereal or oatmeal or eggs and bacon and toast like i just eat food to get me closer to my goals my goals right now are to kind of maintain and lose a little bit of weight so beef and rice and guacamole it is even though it's 8 a.m in the morning but um let me go ahead i gotta take my dog on a walk um i already fed her breakfast and then i gotta pack fold clothing and then get out of here go train a few more clients today and then hit the road, hit the road jack, don't come back no more, no more, no more. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later. Uh, sit back, enjoy the video, it's gonna be a weekend vlog. Enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, what's going on? We're going off to the gym right now. I have a banana. Which is not my normal pre-workout meal. I don't typically do like pre-workout meals like I think most people do. I kind of just eat and I don't like plan out a specific meal before I work out. I think a lot of people do that. It's just never really been my cup of tea. Nothing against it. Um, but all I've had today is that beef and rice um, the, uh, and the guacamole and I'm having a banana. I haven't had a banana in a solid probably year. <laughs> I just don't, I don't really eat bananas, but it's a good, good, you know, it's a quick, it's a, it's a sugar, right? It's a carbohydrate, which I don't typically eat fruit, if ever. Um, I don't really eat vegetables either. Uh, I don't really eat fruit, but before a workout, it's good to get a little bit of uh, sugar in your system. And this is probably just the easiest way to do that. Let me just adjust this real quick, just a little bit. It's probably the easiest way to do that. So we're going to go ahead and have this, um, we're going to have down this bottle of water. Um, I'm working out again with my friends today. Um, my friends, I act like I'm like four. Um, I'm going to the gym with Nick and Zach. And the plan is to hit legs, lower body. Um, I don't know exactly what we have to do. Like, I don't know what the workout's actually going to be, but I do know that I'm probably not gonna squat, free bar squat. I'm most likely just going to Smith Machine squat, which is kind of my go-to as of late. Um, I've been keeping it super simple, super straightforward, just doing a bunch of quad extensions, a bunch of flying hamstring curls, well, seated hamstring curls. It's kind of been my go-to lately. I haven't been doing the um, standing one. I think it's just kind of a, a preference thing. 
Um, it just feels the best. And honestly, it's a, you know, I'm a little lazy and I don't feel like laying down and getting up, laying down and getting up. So I think there is a baseline of laziness happening there as well. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, and then, so right now it's like, it's like 145, we're supposed to get there at two. Um, I have my C4, uh, but Nick was basically like, don't take that. I have better stuff for you. And he's 100% valid on that. C4 in like the world of pre-workouts is definitely like the lowest quality. And I'm not, you know, it's just, it's, on, it's just not that good. The only reason why I bought it is because I didn't feel like spending a lot of money. And I, since I didn't take pre-workout for nearly a year before I bought the C4, just anything was gonna give me like an extra, you know, an extra boost of energy. So I said, whatever, I'll just take that. Uh, but he does have better stuff. I don't know exactly what he has, but uh, I'm gonna take whatever the pre-workout is that he has. And then I think later tonight around seven, we I have a company party that I'm gonna go to. I don't know how many people are gonna be there, uh, but it is a social gathering and there's one thing about me that I think sets me apart um, from most individuals is I am very social gathering um, repulsed, not repulsed. Um, I don't do well around social, I don't do well around other people. It's not my cup of tea, as they would say. I just don't like it that much. I know it's something that I need to work on. It's always been an issue I've had my entire, not an issue, but it's always been a thing that I've done my entire life is when there's a gathering of people, I go the other way. I don't stay around. But I know that's something that I gotta work on. And it's gonna be a late night, it's like seven to 10. I'm gonna, I'm try, I think I might Irish goodbye around like nine, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, which means just kind of dipping out. But it all depends what the vibes are, how many people are there, what's going on. Uh, but that's that's this evening, and you know, getting up at five, I'm kind of a little tired. Um, I might take a nap between now and then. We'll see. There's football on, so I might watch football. But I'm feeling pretty good going into this late workout. Obviously, I drove. I've driven. I've driven. Jesus Christ, I'm tired. I drove about an hour, fifteen to get home. So my lower body's kind of tight. Doing lower body after a decent, or after doing a drive, any drive longer than like 30 minutes is, it's hard, but it's doable and I will make it happen. I would do it, I would do it well. Um, so the plan is leg extensions, hamstring curls, squats on the Smith machine. Oh, and this awesome, I've, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This gym I'm going to, Foundation Fitness in Annapolis has the best in my opinion, the best leg equipment, but more specifically, the best uh, hamstring, glute-focused um, machine on the market. It's 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 incredible. It's so good, and you're gonna see it in this workout. We're gonna I'm gonna make sure we we get on it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm about 10, 15 minutes out. I don't have the pre-workout here. I'm gonna take pre-workout when I get there. So um, hopefully, the workout starts around 2:20, 2:30. I should be home. Hopefully, around four. Maybe take a nap, hang out with the dog, eat some food, and then head on out to this ugly sweater gathering. That's the plan, man. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of hang out with the family this weekend and next week's Christmas. And I gotta, I mean, I gotta do some Christmas shopping, which is always so exciting. Love Christmas shopping. It's the best. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this banana before it rots on me. Finish up this bottle of water. I've had two of these today. Uh, two rain energy, six, 300 milligrams of caffeine each. I've had about three, two cups of coffee. So about 800 calories of caffeine, or 800 gram, milligrams of caffeine between two energy drinks, two cups of coffee, but then pre-workout. So I'm gonna be pushing a thousand milligrams of caffeine and that might be the reason why I am feeling lethargic right now. Actually, that is definitely the reason why I'm feeling lethargic right now, but it's all good. All right, about to go on this windy road. I don't want my camera to fall. I'll meet you guys at the gym. Sit back, enjoy the workout. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, I think I just hurt my neck <laughs> driving. So if we're gonna be perfectly honest, that workout was, it was fine, it was okay. It was good. The actual workout itself was fine. We did uh, all those movements we saw, that's the, oh, you guys saw, that's the only thing we did do. We didn't do anything less, anything more. Um, I did take a scoop of uh, pre-workout, Redcon I think it was, I think it was Redcon. And I've taken way too much caffeine today, which is something that I, so recently I've been taking, uh, I've been making a half pot of coffee every morning, right? So I'm having about, I guess like two to three cups of coffee. So like between three to, I don't know, 250 to 400 milligrams of caffeine every morning, which is fine. But I've been kind of finding myself in a, uh, not a predicament, but I've been taking too much, too many energy drinks. And it's got me kind of messed up a little bit. And then my buddy, Nick, had pre-workout and I took a scoop of that, which was about 200, about 300 milligrams of caffeine. And then I had the cups of coffee this morning, and then I had two energy drinks. So I've had nearly 11 to 1300 milligrams of caffeine today. So I am severely overly caffeinated right now, and that's not a good situation to be in. Uh, but the workout itself was it was fine, it was okay. Um, we did Smith Machine Squat, we did the hip thrust, which I've said before, it's the best hip thrust machine in the world. And actually one of my, uh, Nick was saying that it was <clears throat> making his lower back feel a little bit better. I don't know if he was being serious, but I, I could totally see a world where it does make your lower back feel better. Um, but it was good, it was a good workout. I'm working out again with them tomorrow. I think around, what time? I think 10 a.m. I don't know if I'm gonna film that. Um, we'll see, big bump here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film that. The goal is to film it, but we'll see. The only reason why I say that is because um, I'm kind of a few days uh, ahead already on uploading. Um, I'm not too sure, but right now it's 3.45. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna eat, probably something higher in protein because I'm at the party tonight, it's seven to 10, and that is just, uh, that is unfortunately late for me. <laughs> it is a late night for me. I definitely won't be there until 10. My goal is to be out of there probably around nine. Um, we'll see though, but I'm definitely gonna go home, eat some food, hang out with the dog, hang out with the family, and uh, then go to the party tonight, interact with coworkers from all of the locations, and then tomorrow, I'm taking my, my beautiful dog, Nona, to a grooming session. Which sounds creepy when you say it like that, but it's uh, she's going to get her. So I've been... Here's like a little anxiety-provoking Michael story. So I've been... I don't know. I've been like semi-anxious about Nona lately. And I don't really have any reason to do it. But she's like licking herself more than normal. Um, and I bathe her. I'm bathing her about once a week. Once every two weeks right now. Uh, so I think maybe I'm just not wiping off the shampoo good enough. Or we're just going on like a lot of walks. And she's playing outside. And she's getting a little dirty. And she had like a little tiny scab on her. So I see one little scab. What do I do? I immediately panic. So I made a vet appointment for her on Tuesday the 19th, which is, you guys already seen this, but to take her, to just get a checkup. She hasn't, hasn't been to the vet, I think in like four or five, six months. Um, and I'm gonna be transferring vets, so I need to kind of start that entire process of just getting her to a different location uh, back in Annapolis. Probably just gonna go to the vet that my parents go to in Edgewater. Um, 
So I'm taking her to the groomers on Sunday, and then I'm also taking her to the vet on Tuesday to just make sure she's okay, everything's going well with her. She has a bunch of vaccines coming up as well. Um, I think the, the next one's Feb Feb February, uh, February, February, and I think she has to get like a couple of, I think like a rabies, I don't know. She got, has to get a bunch of shots, and I just wanna make sure she's on point with that. I need to transfer the contact information to me as well. On Tuesday, um, just kind of, and then I'm gonna start moving out, which is gonna be crazy. My goal, and that, that's one of the reasons why I'm getting ahead on videos as well, is because I'm moving out. And since I'm moving out, um, I may not be able to film as much, so I just wanna make sure I have enough content because I'm really going hard on YouTube. Like, I really wanna keep uploading. I love YouTube. I've always loved YouTube. YouTube is like my safe place, it just always has been. It's always been there for me, which I know sounds kind of crazy, but it's just, it is like my safe place. Um, and I don't want to abandon ship for YouTube. So I'm going to make sure that we have enough content. The guy almost hit me, crossed the double yellow line. Um, I'm going to make sure I have enough content for everybody so I can continue to upload, even though some days you might be seeing it and I'm actually what you guys are watching from two weeks earlier or a week earlier. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Also, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who's been following me on my Instagram and my social media platforms. My Instagram is doing really well. I think we're about 520 followers right now, and we're getting a bunch of content that is hitting like hundreds of thousands of views. I think I have three, two videos right now that have over 100,000 views. One of them has 200,000 views. And I just want to say thank you so much for the support on that. It really does mean the world. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I think overall we're in a good place. Just slowly putting the life back together. Um, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, sometimes, um, sometimes I, you know, it's been it's been a really hard two months for me and um, you know my family and for loved ones that I'm not with anymore. It's been hard for them. And you know, the thing is with me, my entire life, I've never been someone who I don't. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I've always been somebody who I'm very, I think I love very hard and I care a lot. And even people who've hurt me really, really bad. Um, like I had some, like somebody who hurt me, like, I'm talking years ago, like years, years ago. I forgave that person like quickly. And I mean, they, like they did, they, they, they hurt me. And I don't know, like, my whole life I've been thinking about that, like, my whole life. And since that happened, it's, it's kind of reoccurred again lately. Um, if that's a good thing or a bad thing, and I don't know. And I think I'm at the point in my life right now where I think this is an important thing. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video with this, with this car talk on the way back. Shout out to Sam Sulik. I think it's very, I'm in a critical point in my life where a lot of men, especially men, and for females after listening to this too, I think this is something that, you know, it's important for you to hear as well. I think around this time in a, in a, in a man's life, you, you know, I'm 27, there's two paths you can take. You can take the path of anger, resentment, put up walls, get angry, um, and kind of isolate yourself. And that, that path comes with a lot of pros. You know, you can be hyper successful financially, career-wise, um, status-wise, hierarchy-wise. But I think it, I think it could also potentially lead a hu leave a huge hole left in your system as well, which could be very dangerous. Um, because you feel like the world's been unfair to you, or you can take the path which I'm, which I'm, which I'm, which not that I'm trying to take, which I am taking of the path of understanding, um, empathy, uh, respect, love. It's been a big bump here in three, two, one. And that path is, there's so many bald eagles here, it's crazy. That path is difficult because when you go down that path, you run the risk of just being hurt again. But I think that's I think that's the path that people need to take more often because that's the path that will ultimately lead I think lead to a more fulfilling life because I don't want to I've always made sure my life there's a few pillars in my life that I one of the major pillars I kind of live my life off of is I don't want to 
be my deathbed, my deathbed with with resentment built up my body, or having a grudge. I don't want that because those things literally kill you from the inside. Like you don't want that in this world. This world's too short to to have a grudge on anybody or to resent somebody. I don't resent people. I don't have a grudge on anybody. I think that's a skill that it's very very important to hone in and build on. And it it's very difficult because what it does is it leaves you vulnerable. When you're vulnerable, you run the risk of someone hurting you or something hurting you or you hurting yourself. If you're not paying attention to yourself, you can hurt yourself. And I think that's, you know, that's very scary. It's much easier to kind of just put on armor and say, I'm going to war. And the only thing that's going to take me out of the battle is someone killing me. And you can get really far like that, but I don't think that's the way to go. And sometimes that way seems easier. Sorry about that. My uh, camera died in the middle of that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and actually end the vlog here. Um, I think I finished everything I wanted to say in that clip. But uh, yeah, just want a formal ending. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the video down here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share the video. And uh, I'm gonna see everybody next Sunday on Christmas Eve. Have a beautiful night, have a beautiful day. Enjoy with your family, enjoy with your loved ones. And I'll catch you guys next Sunday.